FutureLux Computex 2011 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's new HyperX Plug and Play Memory Kits, NZXT's Crafted Gaming Armor, and Gigabyte's G1 Killer Series Gaming Motherboards. Hi, my name is David Leong with Kingston Technology. Welcome to the Kingston WoW event from Computex in Taipei, Taiwan 2011. We have a couple of announcements we're making at the show. The uh, first one we'd like to talk about today is going to be a Y drive, which is a wireless storage device for Apple devices. And then the second device we'll talk about is our brand new HyperX SSD. If you don't know what HyperX is, HyperX is the name of our flagship memory enthusiast products, you know, for the overclockers, the prosumers, the enthusiasts, the people who want to just they want to kick their system up because fast is not good enough. We need faster. And that's what Kingston's delivering with the HyperX SSD with a Sandforce controller. But we first want to talk about the Kingston Y drive. And what that is basically is it's extended storage for your Apple device. So if you have an iPod, iPad, iPhone, this is the device that will take you from the memory that you have on there already and get you a lot more. Say for example, let's say you have a 16 gigabyte iPad. You fill it up with memory. You have a couple of choices. What are you going to do? Because you want to put more stuff on there. Well, you can start transferring data on and off of it, or you go to a 32 gigabyte iPad, and that's going to run you about 600 bucks. So what Kingston has done is develop the Y drive, and that's going to extend the capacity of your Apple device. It comes in 16 and 32 gigabyte capacities. The 16 gigabyte MSRP is about $130, and the 32 gig is about 175 and what we're doing is we're making a one-to-one -one connection with your apple device via a wi-fi network what you're going to do is the apple the y drive comes with a usb cable when you plug it into your computer it's going to see it just like a regular usb drive so you're transferring data via cable drag and drop drag and drop your files and then when you're ready to engage your y drive with your apple device you're going to do that wirelessly so let me first show you the Y drive unit itself, as you can see, it's sleek black plastic. We took our inspiration to make this device from Apple, obviously. So there's a couple of blue lights in the front. That means it's on. It has the wireless signal going. And then over here, I've got my own iPad. And sorry about all the apps on there. But access to the Y drive is via an, uh, via an app that will be available on the iTunes App Store. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna first go into my settings because it's on. What I'm looking for is the wireless network. In this case, this one is called Y Drive One. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna wait for my iPad to make that connection. You see the little check mark, so it's made that connection. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply fire up the app. So what, what you see here is this. You see, the, you see the, the name of the device, Y Drive, with the IP address. It's 802.11 GNN wireless, so you can rename the device. It just so happens that right now, this is showing the, the uh, IP address. The first screen you see here on the left side is your master menu. That's gonna list every single file that you have. You'll notice that it may not be in any order. You know, you see I've got some music here from Foo Fighters. I've got Jack Johnson. If I scroll down a little bit, I've got Lady Gaga and then Avatar. So what we've done to make it easier is we've created buttons along the very bottom that's going to make this a little bit easier for you to navigate. You've got your home screen. You've got photos. What's going to do is going to populate a list of photos, say JPEGs, for instance. So let's take a look at this desert photo. So now we've got a desert scene. I've got a lot of pictures on here, so I'm going to go to a thumbnail view. And it brings up your thumbnail view, similar to the photo viewer that's on the Apple. This particular photo viewer is actually running off of the app. So if we bring up a picture of the koala bear, you have your slide functionality to go through photos. Simple as that. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to back out of all this. Simple, just simple little taps here. And let's go to music. It's going to bring up all the music here. So now here you've got a list of songs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually just choose a couple of songs that we can play here that we can all hear. So let's see here. Why don't we go with Black Eyed Peas. And the music player here is part of, again, it's part of the app that's on the Y Drive unit. Gonna back out of here. And next thing I wanna show you is I wanna show you the movie capability here. Excuse me. So I click on the little movie icon. 
and I'm going to bring up a movie. So let's say, let's watch James Bond's uh, Casino Royale. Now, the movie that's on here, what it's doing now is it's loading up. So you're going to notice that it's going to take a little while to kind of load the movie in. But there's a little trick here. What we're also doing is we're actually doing a lot of caching of the movie itself. So once the movie loads up and start playing like it's just about to here. So the movie's starting. Now I'm about an hour into the movie, just like that. That's how fast Y Drive works. So it's a simple extended wireless storage from Kingston Technology. You know, we're known the world over for our memory, um, our memory products. We, have, we sell over 2,000 memory products, and this is the latest one from, from Kingston. Wireless storage, simple flash device. Think of it as a USB, but instead of plugging this in, you connect to your Apple device wirelessly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Money with Kingston Technology, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a, a sneak peek at uh, our new HyperX SSD Enthusiast Solid State Drive. Um, why don't I go ahead and get started by showing you uh, just how quickly a notebook using this drive can be. This particular system is using the HM67 chipset, um, and uh, we're featuring our HyperX plug-and-play 2133 uh, memory. The uh, 120 gigabyte version of our solid state uh, HyperX drive is installed, and as you can see, it loads really fast. Uh, the drive will be shipping on July 4th, and it will be very competitively priced. Uh, this drive is based upon uh, the new Sandforce 2200 series controller and uh, Intel Compute NAND. Uh, as you can see here, we have a bundle kit that will be included. Uh, the bundle kit's going to have the drive itself, of course, with the cool HyperX color scheme. Uh, we then have uh, a three and a half inch uh, drive bay adapter. We'll include an external two and a half inch case in case you need to use that for uh, cloning. Uh, the SATA cable, screwdrivers, of course, and our favorite little feature would be uh, the Acronis uh, True Image Cloning Software. Make it nice and easy to transfer your operating system trouble free. So this drive uh, features very high throughput, uh, reads and writes, we expect at about 525 and about 480, and some burst IOPS at about uh, 95,000 RPM. So look forward to seeing those uh, benchmarks out there, comparing us to some similar drives on the market. And as always, uh, thanks for tuning in. Our future looks, uh, guys, you the best. <laughs>